cattle and buffalo were imported into Australia at the early British settlement and there were no real restrictions to this, these animals spreading. These animals were virtually unstoppable and the herds grew to massive numbers. That's where the problem started, basically. The place was devastated environmentally, wading out and wallowing in the billabongs and eating all the water lilies. The big hard feet squashing the plants into the mud basically trashed the joint. two options to keep feral cattle and buffalo under control. One is uh, through aerial shooting. The other option, which is the ideal option, is mustering crews, these bull catching crews, and remove these animals from the ground. My job is to find the animals and bring them out. Once the cattle are out, drive up along beside the bull and use the hydraulic arm to catch him. When you catch a bull, you, you've got to get them quick without being too hard on them. That mechanical arm's the, by far the most humane thing to catch them with. The heat is hard. When, when it pays off, it's good. But, you know, for them guys to come in there, there's got to be some incentive. Uh, they don't work for nothing. You can make a lot of lot of money. He's a money cow, that one. Might make a million dollars out of it or something. $300 bin out of it, three the money. It's boom or bust. You can lose a fair bit pretty quick too. Hey, 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 hey. 100 grand worth of cattle, gone. You haven't got any more though, have you? Not at the moment, no. Finally pulled your finger out. It's all a big risk. You get hurt really very often. I had seven broken legs, I've had six or seven broken arms. I've got the scars to prove that I'm not real good at it. Hey, hey, hey. A ball flipped me, like threw me up in the air. Get off, Charlie! Get off and grab him, Joe! Steady, eh? An inch or a centimetre could be the difference between a good day and a bad day. <laughs> what can go wrong will go wrong. Oh, f Willie, cock, hey! Bob. More stress on me, more stress on the crew. Take your mind off the game and bang. It's a hell of a job. Sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't.